Unbelievable. It was a major showdown at the at NAS today. How the signing of direct primary bill will affect the 2023 politics as NAS and governors try to have their way. So the governors are saying we want indirect primaries. Why the the legislative senate house of representatives is saying you must now start using direct primaries what may ask what is the difference now the indirect primaries that the governors want see how it works the governors deputy governors big guys call them the deep pockets the god those who form become godfathers they are the one who determines who flies the party ticket so if you have not been a good son in quote and unquote, if you have not been loyal, they will not affirm or put their stamp or give you the go ahead or the nod to say you will represent us. But on the direct primary system, quite different. What does that stand for? What does it mean? The direct means that the governors and everybody who have been the big boss in the indirect have no power. Every single organ, everyone in the party, the Toms, the Dicks, the Aris, all have a part to play on who represents the party getting the party's ticket. This, the governors are kicking against. This is good for Nigerians, but they will not be able to have their way. So, they stand against it. Let's get all the details. There have been controversies over the direct primary bill, which has been sent to President Muhammad Buhari for his ascertainment. Why the lawmakers in the two chambers of the National Assembly massively backed it and passed it into law. Governors and political parties are strongly against it. Apart from opposing it, some governors went ahead to lobby President Muhammad Buhari against signing it into law. To have their way to the Senate President Ahmed Lawa and the Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives, Femi Bajigbamila, have also made some move to lobby Buhari to sign the bill into law in agreement with the position of the lawmakers in the two chambers of the National Assembly. It is now left to be seen which of the two camps will have its way when the president finally decides. How does the direct primary bill affect the 2023 politics as it is, if it is signed into law? As if that happens, it will return the real political power to the people. This is because the kingmakers, by the signing of the bill, will no longer be kingmakers. They will be eradicated. This is what they are trying to prevent. Then real democracy will start in Nigeria. The real sense of it, the people should be at the center of the governance. And the bill seeks to make this to happen. However, the governors want it same old, same way, where they determine who becomes their successor. If you are not liked, if they feel you're not qualified, if they feel you don't have the, what it takes, you never will emerge. In a similar vein, it will weaken the role and influence of political godfathers. The problem of godfatherism will be reduced drastically to the barest minimum if the bill is signed into law. The people and the godfathers work in the opposite direction. If the godfathers donate the, dominate the politics, when in, why indirect when indirect is used, godfathers dominate. It means that the people will have their way when direct primary is adopted. They will choose who will lead them, starting from the root, from the very grassroots, from primaries. This will improve the political system. However, the governors are not interested. The direct primary bill, if signed into law, will increase political participation among Many people in Nigeria, ordinary men and women, can belong to a party. And if they have shown true federalism, real heart, honesty, and the people are sure of them, then collectively, decision can be made. This simply means godfathers and money bags will have no way in politics, but direct primary bill will take them out of the show altogether. This is the reason they are kicking against this strongly. 
and lobbying President Muhammad Buhari from all quarters and standing against what the House and the Chambers has said. Both the legislative and the but the legislative or the arms of government are for the direct primaries, but the governors are the ones now against the people. So when you look at it, you think that person was your friend. <laughs> you are the one who thought he was your friend. Where are we today? Have you seen the friend? <laughs> you know, when you look at people, when you see their faces, what you see is the face. You can't tell who and what they really are all you can see and all you can say is this person black you cannot really tell who they really are because the face of a person does not tell you who they really are until the heart is revealed by god and guess what the heart belongs to god only god can truly tell what is in the heart of a man so you see the governors your governor my governor our governors they are the ones so when you see some things happen, honestly speaking, by the way, we're not rooting for Buhari, okay? So don't get it twisted. Buhari may not be the cause. Every one of them have their own part to play. And it will shock you to know that the person you thought was rooting for you was actually not your friend. No, he wasn't. He has never been your friend. You thought he was your friend. Or should I shock you? He was never your friend. So, like it or not, the ball is in our court at the end of the day. We must continue to pray so that we get good leadership. Those you think are your friends, those you think will want people to get the best, sadly, they are after what they want, not because they care for the people, not because they care, not because they want change. So, they want things to be the way they are because that's what gives them and that's what makes them kick. That's what gives them whatever they have. So they don't want things to be better at all. They want things to remain with the same status quo because that's where they thrive. You see, that's where they thrive. That's where they, they, they do best. So my people, who is to be blamed? Who is to be blamed in all this? Trust me, it's not just Buhari. Trust me, it's not just Buhari. It's that governor. It's that senator. You know, every one of them to a large extent. Leave us a comment. We'll love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.